Morning, friends. I hope that you're doing well. Um, I want to apologize for my video the other day. It seemed to be having some um, microphone issues. I apologize for that. So this video is from is for Monday. So let's do the same lesson we were supposed to do Friday from today. Okay. So I hope that you're all right with that. Um, I hope that you're able to have a a pretty good weekend. I know that this week does not look great um, weather wise. So if there is a break in in rain. Please try to get out there and get some fresh air. It's very important to get fresh air, okay? I think it's, even if it is for popping your head up um, of your front door for a little bit and getting some fresh air, okay? Um, so in the woods, let's try this again in the woods. Um, so this week in Sheldrake, this is perfect. Um, your nature walk, all these topics are building. And so tomorrow we're going to have one about... Um, an animal that you might encounter, and I think it would give you a lot of good information. So in the woods, um, today is Monday, April 27th, 2020. Um, the words, so these are the ones from last week, but let's continue anyway. Camping, flowers, kite, rainbow, butterfly, Easter, hiking, rain, tulips, bunny, duckling, growth, picnic, sunshine. <laughs> Be breeze, chirping birds, greenery, lamb, spring cleaning, allergies, chick, gardening, ladybugs, seeds in the woods. Okay, so these are the words that we're going to need. My hat feels a little crooked today. I apologize. Let's make myself nice and big. Okay, so ready? Oh, let's start with here is a uh, okay here is a uh, so a nice simple um start to this week um these are words that we're going to need um these are things that we find in a uh, pond um in a forest um tree log pond rock kind of a boulder right mushroom um these are some animals that we might see rabbit snake bear I've never seen a bear uh, in um, my walks, but if you saw a bear, uh, I'd be curious to see what, what would happen. Um, I don't know what it would do, so maybe I should look that up. Squirrel and deer. So these are things that we see when we could um, go on a nature walk. Okay, so here is our sentence frame. Um, here is a tree. Look at this log. Here is a log. Here is a mushroom. Kind of looks like the Super Mario mushroom, right? Here is a pond. Make sure that you're pointing to the words as I'm reading, if you can. Here is a rock. Like I said before, this is a huge rock. Um, I would consider this a boulder, another type of um, just a bigger rock, right? Ooh, here is a snake. Here is a deer. Here is a squirrel. These are you see everywhere, really, pretty much, right? Look at this squirrel. This squirrel is missing a piece of his ear. I wonder what happened. He probably has a story to tell. Here is a bear, okay. Here is a rabbit. Oh, all done, okay. So notice uh, we had started talking about um, a little bit about if, how can we make our sentences more interesting? And so let's talk about how we could do that, okay? So the sentence frame is, is really easy today. Here is a... Okay, so here is a tree, here is a bear. Now I provided you with the with the original sentence frame. Okay, so I think that this is something you could easily manage here. That should be an E. Let me move you over here. Is a tree. Okay. So I've been thinking about maybe and, and hoping that you could um, maybe add some details to this tree, right? Here is a tree is, is, is an okay sentence. It's not a great sentence. 
very, um, it's an okay sentence. You're giving information, right? But how can I describe my tree better or give it better information or, or more interesting information, okay? So here's my tree, right? What can I say about my tree? What do you think I could say? Put some apples in there maybe, right? Uh, maybe some flowers I could draw in my tree, right? So I want you to think about a little bit about this. So what if I were to say, instead of using just these four words, um, what if I said, here is my green tree, okay? Or here's another one. Here is my, or here is a tall green tree. So here is a, so my, right? Doesn't make sense. Here is a green tree. Here, oh, that says hers. Here is a tall green tree, right? So we're describing the tree, okay? So I'm going to leave that there as two examples of what you could do here. Um, I'm going to give you an extra line here to at least give me one more description word of your drawing, right? So I left the tree there. So maybe if you were to do um, here is a brown furry bear, right? Just these lines are just meant to help you out a little bit, okay? So I don't want you to be tied in about these lines, all right? Um, I hope this video finds you well. Uh, remember, continue washing your hands, keeping your distance. We're doing a great job in New York. Um, so let's keep it up, all right, guys? Um, be good.